first time in 2023, I can finally say we're going to Ventin. <laughs> oh, and I thought I'd be a good mummy and let Sir Banksy stay out last night and get up that bit earlier to bath him so that he didn't have to stay in overnight. I'm slightly regretting my decision now because it's a lot darker this morning than I anticipated it being. <laughs> A lot, lot darker. That is artificial light making it look light. It really is not. But hey, we moved and I'm sure he will thank me for it. It just does mean I'm gonna have to, whoa, that came down quicker than I thought it was gonna, it means I'm gonna have to bath him in the dark. But hey ho, everything else is packed and ready. My darling friend Sam is coming along with me. Robbo was gonna come, but he is feeling really poorly, sadly. And we're off on holly Bobs next week, so I was like, nope, it's much more important. You stay home and recover. Sam and I will be quite happy together. And my darling daddy is coming too, although he didn't quite want this earlier start, so he's actually meeting us up there now, which is good. Like I say, Laurie is all prepped and ready. Let's go find the boy. No idea how good the camera's going to pick up in this dark, but it might make it look lighter than it is. Morning, Banks! Morning! Do I not get a whinny? Is it too early? You'll be pleased to know we're going to venting today. You're going to love it. I'd say a percentage or two more than Mummy will. <laughs> good morning. You okay? Oh, this is look, making it look lighter than it is. A lot lighter than it is. Clever camera. All right, let's get your head collar, get your brekkie, get your bath and get on the road. I'm about to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away, this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free clean final few bits going in i just found my lorry mascot thank you to carrie's crochet who made him for me a couple of years ago he'll be going on the dashboard a bit of poo foil and hopefully if it's sunny much needed fly spray may regret so that because it might end up being too hot but we would rather that than the torrential rain that we have had for the last five or six weeks you can sit there matey need to get some electrical tape out of robbo's garage that is one thing i did forget to pack yesterday but it's all good i'm good for time it's quarter past six and i want to be on the road by 6 30. need to get my wife food out of the fridge need the garage keys and then quick wee might even make a cup of tea soon as i've got time and a kiss goodbye to the hubby and the puppy dogs hello you've already been fed <laughs> You want to go up to bed with hubby and puppy dogs, do you? Hey. <laughs> oh, good girl. Guys, if you haven't heard me rant and rave about Y food before, where have you been? They are an eventing day staple. Because I don't know about you, but when I get up at quarter past five in the morning, my first agenda is get the horses breakfast. My second agenda is get everything else done that needs doing. And my third agenda is get on the road, so actually going inside and making something and eating something for breakfast at this time of day is sadly not a priority for me so why food comes in super duper handy because i can grab and go it literally doesn't have to live in the fridge but mine lives in the fridge i grab it out and then i gently sip it prior to he said top left drawer he definitely said top left drawer there's none in the top left drawer. Oh, 
but <laughs> that's not good. He didn't say top left cupboard, did he? Masking tape. <laughs> All different tapes, but not electrical tape. Gaffer tape or duct tape, whatever you like to call it. Didn't mean top right drawer. Should we just go through every drawer? Ooh, ooh. Okay, here I was thinking I was good for time. And now I'm not going to be. Oh, I'm going to have to wake him up and ask him. BRB. Ta -da 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 -da. Right, lock that back up. Okie dokies, I think we're pretty much good to go. Get Maxi loaded up and then hopefully... Sam will be here. I'm going to run in, have a quick kiss goodbye, and then I'll tell you more about the reason I bought Y Food up. And back to Y Food. It is an eventing day essential for me because, as I said, I don't want to be prioritising making a breakfast prior to heading out. And these are great to just grab and go. Meal in a bottle full of fibre, protein, vitamins and minerals and great for fueling busy horsey days out. They come in a huge variety of flavours. You have the creamy original milkshakey style ones, which come in like chocolate, banana, berry, vanilla coffee that's a nice one that's got added caffeine too but they also do these ones which were my followers all-time faves they used to be called lassies they're now called fruities but they're like a more richer yogurt type drink again still full of all the goodness that you need to fuel a busy day but just thicker and sharper and tangier so this one's a mango they also do a strawberry a tropical What's the other? Oh, peach. Yeah. The Tropicals limited edition though. So if you want to try that, get in there quick. But now is the time to try it if you haven't already, because that's what I was getting to. They have upped my discount code to 20% off for the next five days following this video. So I'm hoping this should go live on the 22nd. And as of the 23rd in the morning, my discount code, which is Tina-YouTube, which would normally automatically give you a 10% discount, has been upped to now give you a 20% automatic discount that applies to everything on their site including the fruity bundles which already have a massive saving on when you buy a box of six of two different flavors that sounds complicated but go check out the website that would almost be a 30 percent discount and these are by far my fave so the link will be in the description box below as i say good time to try 20 percent off for the next five days using code tina-youtube 28 minutes past six i'm gonna have my first sip and then i am gonna load the boy up open the gate and pray that sam gets here any second we're heading to launston it's not that far away it's actually one of my most favorite events i say that we've had some brilliant times there but there's a very small fraction of my mind that can't help but think that we had to retire there last time we were there and that was too, due to Banksy having sore and sensitive tootsies. But that was in the heat of July a couple of years ago when we hadn't had any rain for absolutely ages. The ground today is going to suit Banksy perfectly. So I'm trying my best to focus on the positives. I'm looking forward to dressage the most for some reason out of all of the phases today. I really don't know why. He just felt so good in our dressage session, dressage session up at Swipe Up Kick On training last week. So I'm looking forward to the dressage. I'm feeling quite confident and positive about the dressage. The show jumping, I always kind of think it is what it is. I hope to go clear. I will try my best to go clear. But if we have four faults, then you have four faults. If we have more than that, generally will be my fault. Um, and then cross country. Yeah, I've seen the course on the cross country app. It looks nice. It's running in a different way to what it normally does. It's like anti-clockwise rather than clockwise. Um, so I'm going to have to make sure I concentrate when walking it. And um, yeah, I think I've done enough blabbing. And this intro is probably quite long. So I will see you when we get up there and I'll get out and walk the course. Guys, we're not there yet, but look. You can't come. No, I could put Banksy in there, not Cece. I no, you could come out. Yeah. Look at you, covered in easy bed. <laughs> also, for those asking what my plans are with Louis, and I know I probably shouldn't be doing this now because I'm going to end up being late. But I'm hoping today gives me the zest and the drive to want to get him out of venting. I will admit I've been feeling a little bit unsure about what to do with him. He's fantastic. He's lovely. He's perfect. He would make somebody the absolute dream horse in so many ways. But I just feel so much guilt when I ride him and I know it's ridiculous, but he's just not my Banksy. He's probably chilled there. He was sleepy. Is that bottom lip sleepy? So when I get back from holiday, I'm going to give him a bit of a makeover, zazz him up 
and get him out to something. You've been doing digging. I hope you haven't rolled. Yeah, so hopefully I will get him up to something soon. I just, I need today to go well for me because I'm not being funny. It's been 10 months since I last went eventing. It was only two weeks ago that I went show jumping for the first time this year. And I just need to get back into the swing of things on my comfort blanket before attempting it on something new. Comfort blanket, is that the right terminology? On my boy, basically. And do a few things with him first like swipe up kick on, that was the reason I took him there. I just needed to get back into feeling comfortable getting out and about prior to attempting it on the new boy. Bang, she's going to vent in. Come on, he doesn't want to leave his stable. He says we're that good of mates now, mum, that I'd quite like to stay with him. Come on. Come on. No? Oh, it's early, I don't want to go. I have actually had a quick look at that first bit of footage that I filmed. And the camera's very clever. It makes it look so much lighter than it is. Can you, come on, good boy. Oh, do you need a wee? Do you need a wee? Do you need a wee before we go? We have arrived. And somebody's glad he's here. He's already started pouring the ground in the trailer. You know you're at a party, don't you? I am a little bit out of practice with going eventing, which we know because I haven't been for 10 months. And I didn't realize or remember until late last night that you need to print your own number. <laughs> so I was frantically trying to get my printer to work and it was out of ink. I did actually make it work, but it printed plain paper because I had no ink. So thankfully, friend Lizzie, who we have parked very close to, because she's in that lorry there. She's got five rides today. She very kindly added printing a sixth number to her list of chores to do this morning, bless her, or late last night, maybe. I don't know when she printed it, but thankfully she did print it for me, saved my day. And it means that I have got that as opposed to my um, one that I drew as a backup plan <laughs> with felt tip. Top chief groom, Sam and Sybil. You okay? Yeah. We have got a doggy with us. I was hoping it was going to be Poppy's first eventing outing, but like I said, Robbo's a bit poorly, so best he stays at home and the doggies have stayed with him. So as not to add any undue <laughs> stress to me, looking after a four-month-old puppy whilst eventing probably wouldn't be the easiest things to do. I'm going to leave you. You look quite like, yeah. Good stuff to do. It was a good thing. When Sam said she'd come, she was like, and then when you walk the course, I can plat. I was like, you absolute lifesaver. I kind of knew you were going to say that, so <laughs> I got a little I bit said, excited if, then. If yours were bad, I would have taken them out. <laughs> it was my friend's birthday yesterday and we were out for a bit of a boozy lunch. Although it wasn't that boozy because it was too expensive to be too boozy. <laughs> Literally. I think I had one Aperol and one glass of wine because oh, it was rather Aperol. pricey, but it was fun. Um, but my thoughts were that then I would have to get back late last night and plat a little bit tipsy. You However, I didn't have to because Sam to the rescue, she said, you go walk the course. I will plat, so on that note, I'm going to go walk the course. Yeah. Does little one want to come or is it a bit far for her legs? She won't go. She won't leave mummy. No. Thanks, you stay there with Auntie Sam and we'll see you in a minute. I'm going to go and check out that lovely start box that you are going to be excited to go into. Thank you, well, see you in see a bit. You now, I'm not actually going to go into the start box because the course is already on the cross country app. And where sometimes I would normally do that, and measure it myself. I'm not putting any pressure on today. I would measure it myself sometimes so that I would know whether I walked the same line as whoever has put it on the cross country app has walked it so that I know whether to go wider or narrower or longer or shorter. But I don't want any pressure today. So I've got roughly minute markers. I've got the minute markers from that. Um, I'm gonna know the course. And also I'm a little bit pushed for time. So I'm just gonna get on and walk it, that's number one. A nice log in a nice straight line from the start box. And yeah, it just means I can focus on where I'm going as opposed to using the app today because I have already looked at the course on the app last night when I was in bed. And yeah, it looks nice. So I'm hoping that in flesh it looks nice too. Like I said, we've been here quite a few times before. We've done a variation of the 90 and the 100 when we have been here. I'm not focusing on the fact that last time we went. To, I'm focusing on the fact that six years ago we had our best result to date here. So let's focus on that as opposed to our last visit here. Actually, our last visit here was actually cross country schooling with Simon Grieve approximately 12 months ago, and that went really, really well. So I'm going to keep that in my head when leaving that start box today. I want to 
still be there and baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Ooh, we're gonna have to sit back for this one. It's a chunkyish log downhill. No way out but over it though. <laughs> She's at fence seven, eight. Whilst I'm at fence 13. <laughs> Unfortunately, our times just haven't quite worked that we could walk the course together because I need to be getting on in about half an hour. So I actually do need to speed up and stop going quite so slow around this course. But I'm just trying to make sure that I do, because it's twisty turny and running the opposite way to what it often does here. I do just want to make sure I am learning it. Because I think one of the things when you do the cross country app yourself, it goes in that bit more, whereas I'm not doing it myself today. I'm literally just walking it and getting it on the camera for the vlog. So I'm a bit conscious of has it actually gone in, but I will make sure that I sit on the ramp and visualize it prior to riding it. When I write my minute markers on my arm too. There's number fence 13. I don't know why I've decided to film here. Oh look, it's not even in the 100 this time. <sighs> I'm not gonna say, but. If you know, you know. Anyway, yeah, fence 13, that'll be absolutely fine. It's not even really a ditch in there. It's just a lovely ground line and an angled log. That's the Dracaena. And then I think we've got a little house and then through the water again, which was my boo-boo and why it's taken me so long because between fence five and six, there was a water crossing. Tina did have waterproof trainers on, but she did not have wellies on and there was no way I could have gone through it. It was so deep and fast flowing. I had to go all the way up the end to then come back down to then carry on walking it and I think here I might end up having to do the same so yeah big boo-boo when you've got water crossings as water jumps as opposed to man-made water jumps you must always wear wellies because <laughs> although these are doing a good job of keeping my feet warm although my ankles are a little bit wet because the grass is so long they definitely were not going to be <laughs> keeping my feet dry going through a fast flowing river oh that was almost a tongue twister Lots to look at as you come through this gateway, so I'm just gonna have to be conscious that we clocked the right fence because this is heading towards home now. He will know that and he will automatically attempt to pick up speed. So I just need to make sure we don't clock one of these. We stay to the left and go over our hay cart. Not gonna lie, it does feel a little bit alien walking it alone, but I'm going with because of the fact that I haven't done it for so long. It's probably exactly what I need because it's enabled me to focus that little bit more. I do need to pop and see Em before I start though, because my times are in quick succession. And the one thing that I couldn't find is my stopwatch. I have no idea where it is. I've searched high and low everywhere. So she is very kindly lending me hers. I was gonna not wear one and then I was just like, You'll be really cross at yourself if you just go way too fast unnecessarily because it's so flat here that it has the tendency to allow you to go a bit too speedy so i am going to pinch hers and yeah kind of her to lend it to me but she's not on cross country till 45 minutes after my time so oh i think this might well be who printed my numbers number one Woo! thanks for doing my numbers <laughs> Okay guys, welcome to sunny Cornwall. <laughs> no, welcome to the wettest dressage test that I have ever ridden in my life. 
Oh, thank you, Poppy, for passing me the test sheet for my voiceover. It's been a whole 10 months since we've done one of these. Um, yeah, so here we are in the warm-up. You can see that it was absolutely pelting it down. But he was being so good. I did wonder why I bothered washing and chalking his legs, because look how brown they got instantly. Um, so yeah, nice warm-up, only a snippet of that captured on camera. And then when I went in to see the judge, I was feeling really positive about dressage. And I told myself, and I don't normally do it, but I want to canter around the outside of the arena and feel like feel like I was the pilot. <laughs> yeah, feel like powerful and in charge um, ahead of going down that centre line. So I went down to the judge, cantered up the long side, cantered the short side, back to trot, around, and then I believe the bell went. The rain did not ease, though. So enter at A... The, also, the centre line was slightly off, as you can see there. Um, so, yeah, we were told just to enter the, to the left and head to the judge's car. So the entrance was just a little bit off. Um, but straight entry for a seven. And then change the rain in working trot. Seven again, with no comments. Look at his little ears listening to mummy. <laughs> I mean, I think if I'm being really critical, I could have had a slightly stronger connection, but he was feeling lovely. Nice and supple. Went nice with the change of bend there. Half 20 metre circle, half 20 metre circle. Seven for both of those. And then up into working canter. Seven and a half, obedient transition. And then 20 metre circle left in working canter. He felt lovely. He really does like the squelchy ground. You can probably hear it if I stop talking. And a nice downwards two, seven, seven, smooth transition. Back onto a half 20 metre circle. And again the other way, seven, seven, <laughs> with no comments. And up into the working counter right, another seven, obedient. So we actually got a better mark for our left counter transition than our right, which has never happened, I don't think, so super pleased with that. Although would like to know what I ca could do more of to improve this, because he has previously had seven and a halfs and eights for his counter work, so this was seven, seven, obedient. And then that downward transition, it did just say, could be more through into the trot, which is completely fair. Medium walk, I felt that was a nice transition down into the medium walk because sometimes you can go a bit stuffy into medium walk, like a bit of an abrupt stop. And then his free walk just felt absolutely lovely. He felt like he was ready for a nice stretch. And we got a seven and a half. Good boy. Because he's got a nice good over track. And then you just have to be careful here that they don't think they're about to trot because this is one where you turn down the centre line in medium walk. And you don't actually trot. until you get to D, which is about there. So back on my centre line. Seven for the medium walk we had, but seven and a half for the free walk. And then, boom, we got an eight for our halt. Clever, clever pony. Super elated with that test. I think I actually smiled for quite a bit during that test, even with it being in that absolutely vile weather. But he just felt so rideable. He was really listening to me. He felt supple responsive and yeah I actually really enjoyed it which I don't think wow it's been a long time since I last enjoyed a dressage test so I'm not sure it doesn't happen very often you can see I'm smiling and happy that was really nice <laughs> wettest test ever what are the chances of that look at the color of the sky now and look how drenched I am. That is by far the wettest ever dressage test I've ever done. But he was a very good boy. I'm delighted with him, weren't you? Weren't you fabulous? Yes, you were. Really relaxed, calm, rideable, listening. And I was quite relaxed and calm. You even smiled. I even smiled. <laughs> oh, what is my camera doing? This accessory is not supported. Keep saying that. I think it's because the mic's got wet on top due to the rain. So hopefully this is recording and hopefully you can hear me. But if not, it keeps flashing up with an error message. 
please verify or oh, hopefully it's all working um but yeah blue sky and sunshine now i think i might take well i better keep my soaking wet jacket on for show jumping you can't get i'm gonna dog. go down there get my cross-country hat tagged because it's a new hat with mips and see if i can put my number down but i don't want to go too much earlier because my daddy's coming up so i don't want to go early and then him miss it <laughs> that wouldn't be good and into the show jumping arena we go right rain in defense one didn't actually have any footage of the warm-up it was very very deep and i did not spend very long at all in there but I jumped each warm-up fence once and then said no I'll go in when my number's called. So over one and two nicely, thankfully got the right lead to come round this long corner towards three and four which was a related distance. Number 68 now in the exact amount of strides that I walked. So I was pleased with that. And again landed on the correct lead and had nice balance around the corner to come up to this double two strided. Good boy, big praise for him. It landed on the correct lead again. And then this one was quite churned up in front of it, so I just positioned him to the right so he had a nice takeoff point. And again, paid off, thankfully. He felt a bit keen around this corner, so I did have to sit up and sit back a bit just to bring him back to me. And then I remember coming around this corner, I was like, Tina, don't mess it up now. It's been such a lovely, rhythmical round. And then, oh, have a deep one. This had walked eight, and I celebrated too soon. It walked eight, I rode eight, and as I said, clever boy, he caught the planks with his back to the seat, bless him. I completely blame myself, my fault for celebrating too soon. Hi Dad, what did you think of my show jumping round? Oh, you made it here just in the nick of time. Excellent. Excellent, Excellent. until the final from fence. The, from the ending. <laughs> yeah, it was going so well and he was jumping absolutely brilliantly. The ground is quite deep down there. In the warm-up I literally just jumped the cross, the upright and the spread once because it was so boggy. Um, but yeah, we took him in and he was jumping so well, he was really listening. And the final line between a spread and the planks on a dog leg walked and I was going to ride four straight, four on an angle. And I pushed for that last stride and I thought we hit it and his front legs went over it lovely. But his back legs went donk. And I even said clever boy in the air so I probably tempted fate by saying that to be honest. <laughs> Didn't I? I went clever. Oh. <laughs> so never mind. Never mind. It has knocked us out of second place. But you're still in the top ten. Oh yeah, and we're not here for that. No, just Although, yeah, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I got sub 30. Oh yeah, I got sub 30. I don't think I've said that either, which I'm buzzing for. So yeah, delighted with that dressage test. And now to go and enjoy the cross country. It's proper chill. Mm, are you sunbathing? Sunbathing now, how ironic after the horrendous. You didn't even have any rain driving up, did you, Dad? No, none at all. Nope, we had lots i think my jacket is only now drying in fact i can take it off and put my cross country colors on i'm gonna do that have a fine final slurp of waifu food a bit of water a bit like squish <laughs> yeah <laughs> hydration is key actually my water was here getting nice and grassy mm. has he had a drink he doesn't really want it does he, he keeps going now i just play with it <laughs> hello all right <laughs> Um, and yeah, get changed into these, which I couldn't find all of yesterday. Turns out they were in my bag with my body protector and my air jacket. Lights out, hearts beating fast. Okay, we'll look up your results on eventing score. Anyone else is just a leaderboard. Listen to me. Ah, Tina Wallace, I can see the third. And Sarmont's over the first two fences. Setting off in a good, in a good pace for Tina and Banks to the third. Dress on 29, just a one pole road and still jumping.
comes up here. Come on, I can stand over the at 16. Georgina well on track after that one. Not looking at the wind, but at 8. Stop the last amount of long in the water at 9. Wasting no time over Helsinki Road. 17 comes Tina Wallace back to the third. I'm going to go of course by Leia Mastic. Leia, hopes and rides, Bella and his back. Melanie May, Campbell Craig, Gelding, 8 year old, Dressage, 32.3. Just a one pole road in the zero jumping. Tina Wallace, Mike, the third, waiting those timers. They clear the Chevron, 18 and 19. Yay, Post XD Fuzz! Exactly what we needed. We haven't had it since October well, and he was absolutely insane and so was I. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, hey Binks. But I'm going to put the camera down because he is puffing mm. a lot. I'm going to sort him first and then do a proper debrief but I needed to share this elation of a stonking clear within the time. Mwah! Clever boy. You loved it, didn't you? Actually, Dad, you can hold it and I'll say what I'm going to say. I thought I had an extra groom now. <laughs> sponge off. Do you want a little sip? No, I'll sponge off and then get it off. Little technical error there. Um, but yeah, he absolutely ate that up. He wanted to go at novice speed, not 90 speed. So I did have a little word with him in the furthest field after the, after the, the rail ditch. I went really wide down to that log into the water that was under the trees in the dark. And I was just like, you need to listen to me now, Miss. Because we've got one that's in the shade, so it goes from light to dark, and that can be a little bit spooky for them. So I gave him, sorry, Sam, I'm getting you soaked as well. I gave him a good old wait for me, had a moment of regret when I didn't get a response because I did ride him in my hanging cheek snaffle and not my waterford, maybe I should have. <laughs> but um, yeah, after a few hard half halts, <laughs> or just listen to me please Bugsy, he did come back a bit and we took that furthest field, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, at a bit more of a controlled pace. And then I allowed him to pick it back up again towards the hay cart, the Helsinki step, and then over this combination I planned to ride four. I know that it walked three and a half, but I wanted to do the four because I feel safe with that. I don't ever like asking him to reach, especially towards the end of the course when he supposedly should have tired legs, but he definitely did not. <laughs> and then we just pushed on over the last to get within the time for the finish. I think I came through at. 4.41 and the optimum time is 4.50 so pretty much bang on in the middle of the time allowed. Oh, so elated! I don't know what that means we finish on, do you Sam? Sixth at the moment. Sixth at the moment. There's well still done, a few mate. more to go. So it's wrong with a top ten on your first time out in. He said the worst you can be is sixth. Ah. Oh. Shame about those silly planks, but that was Mummy's fault for celebrating <laughs> prior to um, actually landing it. <laughs> I was like, good, but oh. <laughs> oh, but I'm chuffed with my first time. And the cross country, and the show jumping. I feel I rode the show jumping well. I rode it how I walked it and how I planned to. So that's the main thing. I didn't just flap or chip in. No, I rode it. I rode it really well. I know I did. So I'm pleased. It was just a fluky plank. And I hate planks. Maybe going forward, I need to tell myself I love planks. Yeah, exactly. I did say the pesky last jump is planks. I hate it when it's planks, so that's my own fault. I should say I absolutely love planks. Going forward, we heard it from here. We're going to imply we love planks, so we banks. Because I love all of them. You're a clever thought. Yes, you are. Right, that's out, and then we'll get you moving a bit more. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for coming too. All right. Yeah. Good. Top room. How did I know that would be the first thing he did when he got home? His coat is looking so shiny. It's all that lovely grooming you did, Sam. Thank you. He's just going to undo all of that a moment. Oh, is that nice? Woo! Dapperly too. Weren't you a superstar, boyo? Go say hello to Lulu then. Oh, mummy needs to get you a new fly mask. Good boy. Oh yeah, off for some fresh water now. Squishy, was it thirsty work coming with us today? <laughs> Squish! She says, yeah, you did a 
didn't feed her water me. I did feed you. you she actually stole two puppy dental sticks out of the lorry. <laughs> right, thank you, boyo. I'm going to do a little debrief for the vlog with our dressage test because actually I think that might be my proudest moment of today. As much as I enjoyed the whole thing, I'm really chuffed. With our dressage, a 29, we even got an 8 for our halt. So I was delighted with that, especially as it was probably the worst conditions I've ever done dressage in. Yeah, how have you managed to come away with a suntan? You got a lie. <laughs> I drowned and I got a lie. I drowned and I got a lie. Thank you for being the best groom. You were fabulous. You made me enjoy today so much more. You made you do it. You made me do it, exactly. <laughs> Sam had a text this morning. She thought it was me withdrawing. I genuinely did. Did you? Were you yeah. hoping? Or? I don't know. At <laughs> half five, yes. <laughs> Aww. No, I'm really pleased. You should be. I am elated. A little yeah, bit cross at myself so for that chilled. final fence. Maybe you were too chilled at that final fence. I, I thought we'd gone clear. I was like, yay, good bow. <laughs> Yeah. But then it really doesn't matter. I'm never that fussed with four faults. I just think one of, it's one of those things. He didn't really do anything wrong. I didn't really do anything wrong. We had a fab dressage and an awesome clear cross country. Are you looking for some shade, sweetheart? I mean, she said, I might stay here. I'm gonna stay here. Reggie's sunbathing. Cece's sleeping. And Sybil's in the shade. You coming? Aww. Come on then. Yes, oh well, I may as well go through the rest of my test sheet whilst I'm here. Ah. Oh. <sighs> He's doing his Pilates. He's doing his stretches, Sam. He's a very good boy. He says, I know my left rein is slightly weaker, so I'm just going <laughs> to bend a bit to the left. I'm surprised he hasn't gone out to tell Louis all about his day out. Or well, that Louis hasn't come over. Actually, I'll have already gone through my dressage test sheet, won't I? <laughs> if I do voiceover to my dressage test. Will you read it alongside? Yeah. Anyway, lovely comments. That's Straight that's entry, comment obedient, smooth transition, obedient. Could be more through. Yeah, well, only one light negative bit. Could be more through into trot. That was a downwards canter to trot transition. And then at the end, super active paces, lots to like, lovely fluent test, well presented. That's probably the nicest comments I've ever got on a dressage test sheet. Yeah, chuffed with that, especially as I haven't put much schooling work into him <laughs> so far this year. But he is feeling fabulous and back to his awesome self, which makes me extremely happy. You can have another roll there now. No, I just found a really juicy bit of grass. Aww. Well, I'm going to get everything unpacked that's soggy and wet in the lorry. <laughs> and yeah, end this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed watching my first eventing vlog of 2023. Obviously, at the beginning of the year, I thought there were going to be quite a lot of eventing vlogs. There was going to be a lot of build up to badminton prep, but that never happened. But at least I can say now. August, eight months into the year, we have finally been out eventing and we've actually planned two or three more. Haven't we? Yeah, shame you can't come eventing, Reggie Roo. Um, over and out, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Oh, Louis says, I want to go eventing. We come to see what's going on. I love how Banks is not remotely phased. He said, like, oh, but you can't talk to my mum, it's my mum. <laughs> yeah, potentially I could find something for Louis to get to before the year's out as well then. That would be exciting. Um, yeah, I'm sweating. I'm going to go get everything emptied out and then have a shower because I am our Scorchio. Do remember that the Y-Food discount code from tomorrow morning onwards is 20% off for the next five days. So that's from the 23rd to the 28th. So if you want to try it for the first time or replenish your supply, then the link will be goodness in the description box below thank you again Food, for sponsoring this video and for keeping me fueled on busy days eventing it is actually what time just gone three o'clock and it has done a good job of keeping me full up all day i'm hoping for a yummy roast dinner this evening though hee <laughs> hee are you stealing my pussy cat yeah you are you're very relaxed he says i like being a sun seeker don't you to go see your mum. You get yours back next week. So Sam is actually who had the other two kitties, aren't you? Yes, I Oh, don't say that. What do you mean, don't say that? Because I've got to steal oh, them back. she's got to steal them back. Anyway, top secret, we'll inform you. We'll do, we'll do a kitty update soon. I'd love to come and see them. Yes. Definitely. My little right. Thank you again. Over and out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you soon i don't really know how soon if i'm honest because we are off on holly bobs next week oh, and okay. i am gonna take a bit of time out so 
yeah, keep your notification bell on because when I get back there will be something uploading. Not sure what, hopefully eventing again. You could have a dressage lesson. I could have a dressage lesson, okay. Don't need one, got 29. There's still room for improvement. Um, yeah, stay tuned and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for your support, somebody's ringing me. Lucy Robinson! Best answer that, she's been eventing today too. Right, bye! Just keep on doing what you do, keep on touching